Our future aspirations for biotextilogy are manifold. We see it as a new genre for creating manufacturing advanced textiles and advanced materials. We look at nature's most beautiful, intricate, and smart structures under the microscope, and then we use computer-aided design and manufacture as well using computer-controlled weaving looms and 3D printing to emulate those designs. Finally, we test those swatches to see if they have the properties that we predicted and that we optimized on the computer so that we have a final product that we can then go and make things with. So creating the patterns, uh, we really start out from looking at nature. We look at um, the periosteum inside um, animals, inside people, and we try and replicate those patterns and those structures, and specifically the fibers that make up those patterns. Uh, so we're looking at different sutures and what kind of mechanical strengths they have. We want mechanical strengths that match those of the human body. So that's the biggest goal. I've had to come up with a couple of new patterns and I've worked very closely with Joanna on that. A lot of people have come up to ask me uh, how, how it is to work on the loom, uh, but typically they're more interested in how the loom works than the loom itself. I don't think many people are actually aware that the looms were the first computers. The Jacquard loom used a, a loop of paper that had holes in it, much like the first punch cards with the first computers. So basically you have a recursive process where you have binary code, either a hole or no hole. Where there's a hole, the hook falls through. Where there's no hole, it doesn't. Uh, the Jacquard looms and other looms that we use can be modified both on the hardware side as well as the software side, as well as accessory side to better enable us to emulate nature and to make textiles that show advanced properties. For example, on the hardware side, we have these five motherboards that can control each one of 5,000 fibers individually. Fiber choice makes a huge difference. So we use ranges of fibers from glass fibers to titanium to copper, bamboo, rayon, silk, suture materials. The sky's the limit. We hope to combine the weaving modality with 3D printing and other modalities so that we can have composite structures that show the remarkable advanced properties that, such as those that we see in nature.